Let's talk about the rollover image tool in 90 Second Website Builder. Hi, this is Greg Hughes with another video tutorial. I'd like to show you a tool that's under the extra toolbox called the rollover image. It's a great tool because it does exactly as the name implies. It allows you to put an image on your website that when you hover over it or roll over it displays a second image. So to demonstrate this a little more clearly in the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the regular image tool and show you a couple of images and then I'm going to use the rollover image tool. Now you don't have to do all of this. I'm just doing this for the sake of demonstration. I want to show you how the rollover image tool actually does what it does. So first, let me just get a couple of demonstration images. And again, you won't have to do this part, but I'm going to because I want to show you something. So if I was to just use the regular image tool, which you should be aware of, if you're not, you should watch the video about that. This is how I would bring in a regular image. Okay. So You'll notice I brought in a fairly small image compared to this really, really large image. And um, these, are, these are separate images. But if I wanted to use the rollover image tool with these images, here's what would happen. Rather than use the image tool, what I would do is I would go get the rollover image tool. And it does something rather unique. It's down in the extra rollover image right here. It's very similar in that I'm just going to drag and drop. And then I'm going to go find my initial image. And this is important to know. This is the first image. So I'm going to pick the smaller one. And then it doesn't look any different than the other image tool, except that it has a different attribute. When I double click on it, you'll see that I have the opportunity to choose a hover image. This would be the secondary image. So my first image is the one that I started with. Now I'm going to go get a hover image. and I'm going to go get that larger image that you saw earlier. That was this one. Remember that was a huge image, but watch what happens. Of course, it's not displayed because this is the hover image. So what I have here is my primary image, and then behind it is a hover image. Watch what happens when I preview this. So here's my image. Now I'm going to roll over or hover over and watch what happens. You'll see that the secondary image now shows. I'll go back. And you'll also notice that that secondary image was constrained down to the same size as the primary image. And that's the important part. So whatever image you choose as your primary image, that's going to be the size of the hover image or the secondary image. Doesn't matter how big that second image was, when I hover over it, they're going to be the same as the first image. In fact, if I would have chosen an image that was smaller, it would have uh, stretched it larger. And in fact, it can pixelate that second image, so you want to be careful. Okay, so that's how it does what it does. But let's look at a couple of practical things. Okay, so why would you want to even use a hover image? Well, here's a couple of ideas. So let me show you, first of all, this is just a regular image of a check mark. And here's another image of a check mark. Well, if I was to turn these into a rollover image, it would make a really nice effect for when I hovered over. So let's do that. So I'm going to delete these because I don't want regular images. I want rollover images. And I'm going to use the rollover image tool and go get those two check marks. So first of all, let me go find them. Here they are. So here's sort of a gray one, and then I'm going to use, you know, a blue one. Okay, so let's make our gray one be our primary or our first image. So I click that. Remember, I'm using a rollover image. So when I double click on it, I get the option to choose my hover image. I'm going to go back there. I'm going to get that blue one. All right, I'm all set. Now, when I hover over this image, I should get that secondary blue color. Let's hit F5 and preview to see what happens. So here's my image. I hover over it. And there's the blue one. So you can kind of get the idea of what you can do by using this tool in the right scenario. Let me show you one other thing. What happens when I change the size of my primary hover image? It works just fine. And everything is constrained. So let me show you one more practical use. And I've already made one over here, so we don't have to go through all the steps again. But here I created a button in my image editor. I call this down button, and I call this the up button. But I made a hover image earlier. Let me bring it over here. 
So these are just regular images, but this is a hover image with the up and down button nested together. Watch what happens when we preview. As you can see, when I hover over it, my down button appears. That would be a practical use of using a rollover image. It gives the impression or the illusion that we're actually pressing on a button. And of course, we can turn any of these into links. So if I wanted this to be a link somewhere, I will double click on it and go to the link properties. Easy to do. And that's how you use the rollover image tool in 90 Second Website Builder.